It's 201. Right 201. Here. Parker's mom's house. Greetings, y'all. This is the Notorious Dad, and today is a very happy day for me. It was not a very happy day. Well, it was. Today is the nine-year anniversary of 14-year-old Parker stands up for his rights. Cops say he's free to go with his dad instead of his mom. Nine years ago today, uh, though it was anguish for my son, as many, 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 43 million of you've seen on my channel alone, and I'm quite certain there's that many more in other places. It's a, it's a sad day, but it's also a happy day. On that day, a, a young boy became a young man, and I'm a very proud father of this young man. On that day, Parker Kelly Leverett showed more balls than probably a lot of people in this country. In case you hadn't noticed, this country's kind of going to hell in a handbasket. I was kind of had a little higher hopes for this video, but it's been nine years. And yes, there are still things that are still not over with in uh, this never ending family court drama saga, but there are some good things happening. Uh, just to be clear, I am not going to give any Hal's Parker answers or any uh, how the kids answers. I know that's what many of you have asked because I see those comments posted every single day. And I, I just cannot talk about my Cheeran's uh, relationships with other people. I'm sure you understand. And they have private lives and they want, they've asked me in particular since I seem to have the biggest mouth in the family, to keep that part of their lives private, and I will respect that. The cool thing now versus then, back then, they were young, and they didn't get a say-so. Obviously, they couldn't choose where they wanted to live. I had to get courts to decide that for us, but now there's no such thing as people putting their thumbs on my cheerings and making them do things they don't want to do. And even as persuasive as yours truly is, even I could not do it. But I would want to because I love free choice. I celebrate it. So I've wanted to do this for a while, but I didn't know when, how, really what to do about it. A lot of people have covered this video. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is... Answering questions like filling in the blanks and giving some of my smart ass mouth comment comments on a few things because because <laughs> I want to. So without further ado, I'm just going to play this and we'll I'll occasionally pause it and um, yeah. So let's see how this goes. I got this brand new Streamyard. Thanks. And it's really cool. 14 year old Parker revisited. Yes, I'm going to play it from the very beginning. From 2.01 p.m., when I was ordered to bring my cheerings back, I was not ordered to kick Parker out of the truck, contrary to what many of my haters say. I was ordered to bring all four of the cheerings back to that address at that time at 2 o'clock p.m., which I fulfilled. And then there's a period after that. Didn't say I had to kick them out. Didn't say I had to yell and scream. Didn't say I had to manipulate my own son to get him out. It certainly didn't say that. Now, later on, when Judge Rex threw me in jail, they kind of implied that. That's not what the decree said. The decree stated that my duties was to was to bring them to that house, and that's what I did. I do not miss Texas. Wow, like I don't miss Texas. For those of you who don't know, I'm in Florida now, and I love it here in Florida. I've heard the family courts here aren't that much better, but they're a 
They're not as bad as Texas. But my cheerings are grown, so I don't care. Here we come. Here we go. When I uploaded this, I had like 102 subscribers. I had no clue how this was going to work out. And I thought all this dead air time, the first four minutes, was going to just be nothing. I woke up the next day, had 7,500 views. Like, rut row. People either love me or they hate me. Come to find out, it's both. Take that off. I think that was Parker's phone he put in there. You did not know it was not a weapon. Yeah, that's his phone. Back then, my kids had their, their phones taken from them. They weren't allowed to, to call their own father. So I made AT&T a lot of money by buying phone after phone, plan after plan, trying to smuggle the phones in, and very successfully, I might add. We lost a few, but worth it that was where i first was introduced it to snapchat because back then i don't know how it works now but back then the uh, message disappeared uh here we go drum roll please Parker, honey, now's not the time you need to come in and we can talk about this okay the kids told me that you want to live with him yes ma'am Okay, we'll talk about it in inside. Uh, I, I don't. Yeah, I really, really, I don't donkey. Do what now? I don't want to get out. I'm sorry. I don't want to get out. I'm sorry. The the you're you're a child and you don't get to make all the decisions. But you need to get out now, and it's time to come. That out. was a no. Okay. What's the camera for? Oh, don't worry about it. Make you famous, Bubba. You need to come on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want to get out. I understand. But it's no longer visitation with uh, your father, and it's time to come home, okay? All right, we can talk about this. I'll listen to, I'll listen to what you have to say, but mm -hmm. there's no way, mm -hmm. there's no way that you can just roll up and everything's fine and you can just roll up and say, oh, I'm not going to get out of the truck. Right, the second no. And this mama is not going to say, oh, okay, bye kid. Bye kid that I've raised for 14 years. See you later. I'm just not that way. I love you. And you obviously have done a lot of talking this weekend. That's fine. Maybe there's some stuff that I need to know. But I'm not letting you just drive off. That's not going to happen. I love you too much, and we're too close, and this is not the right way to do it. This is a kind of a underhanded, in my opinion, disrespectful kind of a way to do it. To just, oh, by the way, hey, I'm out of here. Well, and that's I, not your fault. I'm I, almost certain that you were um, told that this was going to be an okay way to do it, and it's just not. This is just not very appropriate. Of course so it was wrong. But how, how do you want to do it? Huh? How do you want to do it? Well, maybe you and I should come in and talk about what's going on with you that's causing you to... Maybe you should get separated from your father so you don't have any backup. Maybe we need to talk to the youth pastors like what we were talking about. Read our mayday, mayday! Maybe if there's something going on, I can help. All right? No offense. I know a lot of my followers or fans are religious. I'm just simply not anymore, but that should be a red flag in a high tense uh, situation, you know, and they're just, you know, throwing out, let's go see the youth pastor. Red flag. You need to get out of the car. All right. Come on. I don't want to get out. Get up. Hey. You need to get out of the car and come home. I don't want to get out of the car. Huh? I don't want to get out of the car. Okay. Sweetheart. I hate to I hate to say this, but you're being 
real ugly right now. This is being super duper disrespectful and you need to come home now. How dare you? And if I have to call a police officer to come help me, Damn I would hate to have to do that, but I sure enough huh. will. Call him. Huh? Call him. Okay. Caleb's going to get into some trouble because he knows that he's going to Your dad's going to get into trouble. Too. And I don't think that you're being a very good role model right now at all. Sitting there flossing your teeth while this is a major thing. <laughs> I'm in popcorn. To do. You don't have to. I, I, I can't force him to get out of my car. Yeah, you uh, can. You're his father. I, he is a minor. You can say, you get, have to get out. We have to do this in the appropriate manner. You can You can model responsibility. You can choose to do that. I'm not going to miss that. that. That's fine. Let's go, Parker. Parker. Yes, ma'am. Let's go. It's time to go in and talk. This is not the way to go about this. What is the way to go? I already told you to come in and tell me what your concerns are, to come in and talk to me. I'll tell you my concerns are here. If you want to be, no. No. Because it's time to go in. I told you guys last week that must we be had separated. to do Sunday. What do we have to do? Well, for one thing, we're going to Nani's for like a barbecue. Like a barbecue. Another thing, we're going swimming. We had like fu family fun. Plans. It's fun. It's all so fun. Uh oh, sister. It says the arbiter of fun for the camera. whole family. Do you have your phone on you? Do you have the non emergency number for the. There you go. Get on speed dial, mama. Representing Permian football. Hell yeah. I think I've Where brought as much See that huh? brought as much media attention to right. Permian football as Billy Bob Thornton. Daddy's gonna riding out lights. You need to you need to get out. No, Jason's calling you the need cops. To do the right thing. Daddy's sitting here feel, filming. You know how we talk about you feel in your heart if this is the right thing to do or not. Do you think that this is the appropriate way to do this? Yes. You do? Really? You wouldn't do this to him. He's been lying just back the there. That he was Father's not letting him out of the car. I don't want to go. You've asked to not go before, and I have... I have never not asked you. Yeah, you have, sweetheart. You've been doing this for a lot of years. Maybe you've forgotten some stuff. Maybe you've forgotten. Not yes, you used to always ask that. Show up. We have never... Gaslighting, hello. Because that's not the right thing to do. Well, what is the right thing? You Here tell comes me. a non-answer. Ah, you tell me. You through this dust. Could you please Good non-answer. You tell me. The window? You tell me. What do you think the right thing to do is? We're doing it. I don't know. You think the right thing to do is to just tell your siblings goodbye? Do you think that, that you're not going to live with them anymore? I'll still be able to see him, but... When? On visit? But you won't see Mallory, because Mallory doesn't go on Caleb visits. You can FaceTime him or whatever. You can fa do you think FaceTiming is the same? Do you no. think that the, f the same relationship you would have with Caleb if all you did was FaceTime him? No. That's not the way... That's not the way life works, is not on the computer. I know you love Caleb, and it's real easy to be real angry with me and Jason right now because you're 14 and sometimes it's real easy to be angry with everything whenever you're 14 but real life is going to happen no matter where you go you're going to have to get your laundry done no matter where you go you're going to have to do your homework I've never done laundry ever in my life depiction of that over it honey because you don't have to do anything over there. you don't fight well, honey, maybe it's because you don't have real life over there. Okay, well then, give it two weeks. No, I'm not going to. You are my child. What about no number 10, give maybe? Give over to 11? somebody that there are adult issues that are not anything that you need to be concerned with right now. But if I thought for a second that that was an appropriate place for you to live, if I thought for a second that it was an appropriate place at this point just for you to go on a visit, I, I don't think that an industrial engine business visit i have resented being called an effing visitor since day one i am my children's father i'm their daddy i'm their sperm donor 
and their caretaker. I am not a freaking visitor. I've always resented that. Go on, Caleb. Is, it's not just her. I mean, that's what the they call it the visitation schedule, the the Texas family courts. They call it they call it that. It's like intentionally demeaning the other parent. This is a good place for a child. Is military school a better place for him to go? He's not going to military school. Good to know. Okay, well, I'm glad, glad to hear that. Nobody ever said he was going to military school. Mm -hmm. okay. I said that y'all were going to go look at some. No, we never did. Yes, you did. You said it right The there. other day, you and I were laughing, and I said, oh, my gosh, boy, Laugh. you're driving me crazy. I know why people go to military Laugh. school. Oh, yeah. We got done. No, it was a joke, Parker. Oh, it's always a joke. Just like you just you interpreted it wrong. That's why. That's why. I would never send you off. You are my child. You are my firstborn. You're my heart walking around outside my body. <laughs> are they on their way? I would never send you no, no. off. I sent you to summer camp one time, and that was hard. He's not, a, he's not, we have not. We need leaders. help. He needs to, it doesn't matter. We need a patrol car. No. We need help. Well, he is free to go. He's not. He's a he, minor. No, and, he's free to go exit the car whenever he wants to. And and he's going to. He's not being restrained by me. I'm just filming. That's I'm, all I know. Doing. That's all you're doing is filming. I know. I know your game. That's all you're doing. Are you high right now, Caleb, or are you drunk? Which one is it? Will you take either one? Will you take a drug test for me? Will you will you re I'm not a drug taking testing? a drug test for well, anybody. Why not? If you're never ever ever consent to that. If you're court ordered and you don't really have a choice, but in situations like this, I highly recommend you people learn what sets you off. You know what makes you mad. I've seen it a million times on here when she called me by my first name in front of Parker. I would have lost it and I would have beat that ass and bye bye. You lose when you do that. You know, there's a reason. I bit my tongue and said like 10 sentences this whole time. Believe me, there's a lot of that crap that just drove me up a wall. But learn in situations like that. Let whoever's doing stuff like this to you, let them dig their own grave. You just, just bite your tongue. Bite your tongue. Just like uh, Marillis told Ann Shirley from Grand of Green Gables, bite your tongue, bite your tongue. It means shut up. Just let them talk. Let them call you uh, call you names. Let them insult you all they want. Just let them go right ahead. The person who loses their cool loses. If you're not under the influence of anything, your big now thing now is weed is legal and you know it's God's plan. How do you know? Because you're on Facebook screaming about how I need to, you know, all these horrible things. We because I'm stalking you, but I can't say that out loud. How mutual, you need to what? We have all these mutual I friends. I never mentioned that, you, believe it or not, I don't. Yeah, well, okay. Believe it or not, I well, don't. I, I, I've been to the second grade, and I, I can use my context clues, but I will tell you right now that I don't think that you're an appropriate influence at all. Okay. And, you know, before this, I was going to talk to you about summer. Because there's some things that we need to work on as far as. That's a load of crap. That's another tactic. Just another. I was almost about to give you exactly what you wanted, but you've pulled another stunt. And now I'm changed my mind and you're not going to get it. Shame on you. You should not have done this. That's another tactic. That's all that is. Don't fall for that crap ever. Co-parenting, but clearly. Excuse you. Excuse me. Excuse me, I'm a movie star. Clearly, what? There needs to be somebody already on the way. Oh, look, he's Are shivering. God dang, she's, she's getting on me. He's shivering in his sandals and his pumps. I think this is a major decision. I think, I know, he can't get you because he's in Caleb's car. I think this is a major decision, and I think that I understand being confused. And I understand not liking your parents when you're 14. Caleb does too. Your dad we both does understand too. That. But family is family, and we're set up the way we're set up. 
and that guy ain't family. He's that guy. You don't hear that, man. Of course, y'all heard it. You watched it before. For a reason. For and reason? I'm not. Well, that. <coughs> I don't want her to get sunburned. That. Are they on their way? Or? Yeah, they're on their way. This is completely the wrong way to do this. This, this, this is completely this none of your is. fucking business, bozo. This is not okay. I'm asking you to come to the house and talk to me about what is going on with you. If you honestly thought that you were going to military school, really, I honestly don't think whenever you're playing the punch punch game with me, I honestly don't think you're going to hit me. Maybe I've teased too hard with you. Maybe we're our fun, fun. joking family. Oh, oh everything's always just that. fun I'm and joking. I'm to work with you on that, but I am not letting you drive off in a car with a man that I don't see as the very best influence on you yes, i know that you love him at and least four times said, always said it's okay to love caleb yes. there are yeah. some things that are not some of the things that we want to model what does he do? well he just does some things that i don't particularly agree with just like i'm sure i do some things that he doesn't particularly agree with but what does he do non-answer no answer are, that's some of the things Baby, you are 14. I know that you're big, but you are still a child. But some of the things that you just can't, some some things you just don't need to be involved in. Not now, maybe not ever. Don't, don't, don't. Go with the protector. I'm not going to reach into the car and snatch you bald or anything like that. Because I firmly believe Caleb would shoot me. <laughs> I firmly believe that he would shoot me. That's all you have to say. Ridiculous right now, statements you, just give simple you answers. I'm an arm. Get your little bottom out of this car, and you need to come in. Well, first, I just want to hug you because I can see that you're hurting. I don't even know what's going on with you. But you're fine when you leave, and when you come back from Caleb's, you've got turmoil from your dad every single time. Something is going on over there. There's conversations that are going on over there that are feeding this negativity. Gee, I it's wonder what it could be. Kid. You need to get out of the car and you need to come in. I'm going to go get my orders. Get the orders snap, the snap. Place. Crack that bullet. Go, mule boy. Yeah. Get up. Yeah. Okay. How many times have I told you I will never give up on you? How many times have I told you that you are worth everything? Did you really think that I was going to say, okay, let me go get your toothbrush? Yeah. Oh, hey. What a motherly thing to ask for, to ask that of. I love you. Ask your mother of. And I don't know what's going on. Oh, make yourself small. But another I want tactic. A to Here it is, another tactic. You've had a chance, Mom. Oh, I have. Oh, I have. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This, this whole, this thing. Where nothing changes here, but this it's goes bad back. Enough that you don't want to come home. It's pretty bad. That's I mean, a people run away for a like bullshit things. grin. What are you? What? Do you think this is normal, babe? No. Look at that. Look at that. The filming and the. Do you think that that is a? That this is a. I'm sorry, you're a child, but I have to say, do you think that's being a good parent, baby? Do you think that's somebody that needs to be in complete control of your de of decisions regarding you? I don't think anyone needs to be in complete control. Boom! That's why there's two. Boom. Oh. That's a good point. When people, Sharp as attack, not coached. When people walk away from their ability to make decisions about their children, though, there's something that we can't we can't make people be involved. We can't make people do the right thing. Walk away. What are you referring to? Well, there's a lot of things that Caleb has checked out on mm -hmm. by his own choosing. Notice so, my lip is shut. You name it, baby. Didn't say anything. that's okay. He does his thing. We do ours. We raise you guys. And y'all go and have fun Disneyland times with him. Pause. There's another thing I've always resented. Disneyland dads. I know they exist. And believe me, I know douchebag dads exist. There's, there's plenty of them. Like, ladies, y'all have a really good argument 
a lot of the time. Not all the time, though, because there's some really good ones. But Disneyland Dad, I have personally always resented being called Disneyland Dad. I didn't say anything here because, as you can all see, what good arguing does, it does absolutely no good with her. Like, none. But, for the record, since all this water is under the bridge now, I can talk about it. My cheerings has grown, so I can talk about it. I'm going to talk about it. I literally, not hypothetically, not in an in a allegory, not in a hypothetical situation, I literally cut that boy's umbilical cord. Coincidentally, I cut his little brother Hayden's umbilical cord. And I cut his other little brother Blaine's umbilical cord. And believe it or not, yes, da, 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 I cut his little sister London's umbilical cord. And here's the kicker. You see this shirt? Shout out to Old Navy, who is not sponsoring this. You know how long I've got this shirt? I'll give you all one guess. Parker's now 23 plus years old. I have had this shirt for at least 23 years. And the reason I know that is because I've had it in a safe for the last 23 years. Because this is the exact shirt. The exact shirt that I cut his umbilical cord in. And it's the same shirt that I cut Hayden's and Blaine's and London's in. I was there through all three trimesters, trimesters of all four cheerings. I was there, not all doctor visits, but I was there for a lot of doctor visits. She chose to stay home, and I didn't have a problem with it. That was her her choice in the marriage, to stay home and raise the kids, and I never, ever had a problem with it. But to, this whole checked out, goes, does, whatever, oh, and then he just comes around, oh, go be Disneyland dad, okay. Never once since 2007, when we got divorced, October of 2007 was when it was finally final. I'd left February or so of 2007. Never once, all the way up to right here, which is 2013, not one time did I ever miss a visitation again since I was reduced to a mere effing visitor. Not one time. In the beginning, I had first, third, and fifth weekends, plus Thursdays. I'd pick the cheerings up from school on Thursday, take them to school Friday, and on the first, third, and fifth Fridays, I'd pick them up from school, keep them overnight throughout the weekend, take them to school back on Monday. That all, all went on, and I never missed a, a single visit visit um, until I got sued. And then I got sued, and it got turned into the second and fourth. Just slowly whittled away. I'll get into that in a minute. That's how it's been. Don't, 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 don't. Oompa Loompa, man. Represent. Somebody's got to tell you about your Brussels football. sprouts. Put your rubber bands on and wash your blues and grays on a Friday night. Got your no, orders, dear. No. Got your orders, Maza. What shall I do with the Mazda? Cops to come for you to get out of the car. Okay. How many are coming? I don't know. Do you know how many cops are coming? They yeah. usually send. They usually That's send two or three cars. Trying to scare him. They usually send half a squad. This maybe is a small army. Happy. This is his favorite thing to do to stir up trouble. And you know what? That's not really what we're about as a family. We are not a troublemaking family. Oh, of course not. We just keep the cops on speed dial. You know. I think sometimes kids can be encouraged to do things that they wouldn't ordinarily do. You're oh. the most calm, quiet kid I've ever met. Oh my God. So there's no reason to send him to anger management classes then? This is not between you and I. You have checked <laughs> out completely. You're flossing your checked teeth. Out. And yeah, uh-huh. This is, this is not, no, no. We may need to go to some Double down, double down. Because you said you get so mad. That wasn't that wasn't a bad thing. That was a how can we help you process your emotions mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. Never it's ever. Hard to never never handle bad. emotions. Never. Lots of grown-ups can't do it. <laughs> you think? Impulse control. Like right now. Oh, I want to do this right now. Impulse control is a real Impulse thing. control. Lots Go get my orders. Turn. Call the cops. Call not have been Call Gavin and Christy. But 
somebody decided, hey, let's do it. I don't know if it was you. I don't know if it was Caleb, but it was Your on dad. An impulse. Mm -hmm. It was on a, oh, let's pull this trigger now. And it, this is not well thought out. This is not a mama I need to talk to you. Take me to Starbucks. Everybody, everybody loves you in that house. Your dad and I love you. Jason. I've got in my mind that Caleb loves you. Your father. To the best of his ability. But it is very different to father a child and to parent a child. Those yeah. are two separate things. Shit, 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 what I do, what up? Let her know, I got her back. Can you tell me what time it is? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma well, I sure can, ma'am. Every minute that you stay in this car that he doesn't make you get out is, like, not good. He's free to get out anytime he wants to. Yeah, well, he being free to get out and, and being a parent and saying, no, son, you need to get out. It's time to go home. We'll handle this. I'll, I'll contact your mother. We'll talk yes, about this. Yes, because have a family everything's meeting. just been handled so those, reasonably oh, so by the far. Way, he doesn't want to get out. You know this is wrong. He's you weren't raised to be like this. You he, weren't raised trash like this, Caleb Leverett. He's, he's, your mother would be ashamed. He, he has expressed to me he wants to live with me. That's fine. Therefore, he I'm, has expressed, I'm going to help my son. He, he has expressed to me that he loves you many, many times. Mm -hmm. I'm just but he has also expressed to me that you have encouraged him to do this. And I don't for a second think that this is all my son's doing. And I hate well, Parker, what, that he is in the middle of it. Well, I hate it that he's in the middle of it, too. It's I don't, horrible. I, I, don't, I don't get a, a thrill in doing this, either. I'm just trying You're to help my son. Out of it. I'm, I'm trying to help my son. I don't know what else You're to not, do. either. You're not even focused. You're picking a off of your thing you're just holding that up just so you can have proof for court or whatever you think <laughs> is going to happen court Maybe of public perception is this your way of no I, I would rather just do everything voluntarily without well, the court so why don't you voluntarily before we get to her next brilliant assessment i would like to say that this was recorded on may 26th 2013 if you will look at the original parker movie it says up it was the release day of june the sixth or seventh or something like that i didn't want to release this like i had it on there on youtube just in case but i waited a solid two weeks maybe three it's not two or three weeks because i wanted to just handle this i didn't want any of this there's a reason i held on to it because i wanted to this was i just assumed she thought it would go on youtube maybe Oh, maybe it maybe wasn't as big of a deal back then. She wasn't worried about it. But I didn't want to release it. But now let's get to this next brilliant assessment here. Pay your child support and do your uh, health insurance. That would Pay your child support. Da -da -da. Follow the money. In any circumstance where there's a lot of big government involved and cops and lawyers, always follow the money. And... Child support is the is a it's like a currency now. Pay your child support. The words child support or supporting children is uh, taking care of them, take spending time with them, money when necessary. The overall acts and time and uh, monetary cost it takes to rear human babies till they're big enough to wipe their own butts and become productive members of society. Child support, pay your child support. That has become a currency in, in and of itself, its own form of title 4D chicanery. It people just, if you pay child support on time, then you by their algorithm, you are a good parent. The moment you get behind a little bit, ah, you got a B minus now. You're a B minus parent. No, oh, you hadn't paid child support in six months. Oh, you got thrown in jail and you still have to pay. Oh, well, you're just a deadbeat. They want to label people like me in monetary terms, their form of currency, child support. 
and they try to shame us. That's exactly what that was. That was, did you just assume, I guess, assume this is going to be played in court. <laughs> it eventually did get played in court. It was, it's an attempt to smear somebody. So just so you know, there's a lot of fathers who get behind on child support. There's even some mothers. There's more, mo, mo, most times mothers don't go to jail for it, but fathers go to jail for it all the time because, you know, we've got all this privilege. And no, I'm not turning this into a sexist thing because believe me, I am in the position to know loads of good mothers who have been screwed by the family court just because of you know this. And this is kind of what I do, educate people about this. I'm fully aware that there are some good mothers out there, outstanding mothers that get screwed just as bad, if not worse than my kids and me did. But this whole child support thing is just a way to... Uh, the, the government, the controllers, the, the system uses the public to publicly shame somebody. Public shaming is for you raped your daughter and you got caught and that's publicly, that should be publicly shamed because there's a victim. There's a, there, it's, a, it's a nasty, disgusting thing. They deserve present, if not worse. But shaming someone over the inability to monthly give money to an unhappy person on a regular basis for 18 years for one chip for one child that is just absurd especially if you're in the work that i was in and there's loads of guys in the oil field when oil is up man we're making money hand over fist go to court yep bam they get those child support checks these professional child support check cashers get these massive child support checks. But then you know what? The price of oil goes to the tank. All the rigs get stacked. All the pipelines shut down. All the welders are let go. All the hands are let go. Just like that. But you know what doesn't happen overnight? Going to court. Ta-da! Isn't that funny? Isn't that amazing? And you get just one or two months behind. Oh, he's a deadbeat. AG's office gets hold of that. Boom. They start within, well, in my case, within six months. In 2017, they stole my bank account. Can you imagine what that would do to you? Going along your daily life, not having a clue that all, all of a sudden, all your checks bounce, your rent's due, and your money, you're just deposit your, your hard-earned check. Maybe you got a little overtime. And without warning, boom, it's drained and gone. That's what the, the AG's office is, because you're just a number. They don't care about you. Ken Paxton, he's run for re-election, does not give a crap about any of you people voting for that moron. Not one. He just wants his power. He doesn't know who I Well, he knows who I am, <laughs> but make no mistake, I kind of, like, kick the bear. So, yeah, he knows who I am. But for the most part, the thousands of bank accounts his office is ordered to steal every every year. They don't know who you are. And they don't care. You're just the number you got behind. You're just filth to them. Uh, rant over for now. Great. Why don't you voluntarily parent? I, I do voluntarily you do? parent. Oh, okay. No, I'm sorry, Parker. I shouldn't have even said that. Uh-huh. Will you get out so we don't have cops all over the stinking road? Would you cops stop calling the stinking you're gonna, cops? You're going to have the cops. You're the one to call them? Really? Yeah. You don't know. This is a humongous temper tantrum. Okay. Look at him. Look at him. Just stone cold silent. Expressionless. Sorrow, if anything. This is a humongous temper tantrum. And that is called gaslighting. <laughs> That's called projecting, literally. Actually, it's, it's projecting. I've got to call the cops because I got them on speed dogs. You won't get it. I can't get my way. You're having a humongous temper tantrum. That's projecting. You need to get out of the car and come home. This is ridiculous. Marissa and have 
across and watch the kids. Pop it. Yes, Mazza. Yes, I'll get on that right now. He knows if he don't do it, do it. He's toast. <laughs> Why are we just waiting on the police officers? Because you won't let Why him don't go. You just do the right thing and get out of the car. How is that the right thing? Exactly. Because that's this is your home. This is where you live. This is where you're being raised with your siblings. This is where your dogs are. That's where your backpack is. For crying out loud, I'm not going to bring you your stuff. Heaven All your forbid, whole life is in Mom. there. This is not the way to do it. And do you think that you're really yes, building who? relationships? You know, we talked about family is forever. Yes. Do you really think that this is going to build a long-standing good relationship with you, me, Daddy, the brothers, and Jason. the sisters? Do Jason, this not Daddy. Is Jason. The way? Yes. It's not. Nobody just does this. The only person that I've ever known that has ever done this is Caleb Leverett. I'm done. I'm tired of doing domestic, and he would take off. Oh man. That's how. I, I would take off to avoid this. And we separate, you know, and go calm down. That's me taking off, by the way. I know that this is not coming from you. Why because you your heart, so because your heart, because I love you, because you're my child, because I had you to raise. I didn't have you until it got hard, Parker. Look at me in the face. I never once had a baby and I said, I'm going to do this until he starts driving me nuts. I'm going to do this until. His grades drop. I'm going to do this until it gets inconvenient. This is forever. I have never left you, and you have never left me. You got something tough? We'll handle it. But you got to let me in. You got to let me know what's tough. You have entered the Twilight Zone. Never left me. Never left me. You're Nessa. I don't know. They'll be here when they get here. It's a non-emergency. Is it going to be a relief when they get here and say this is the order you need to you need to abide by? It? Is that going to be a relief to where the choice is made for you, baby? Because if you feel like you have to stay in the truck to prove that you love Caleb, or if you feel like you have Your to dad. to prove that you love me, that is horse crap. That guy knows that you love him. That guy over there knows that you love him. I'm that guy. He knows it. Daddy and I know that you love us. Jason. This is not about picking sides. You're coming home one way or the other. Can't believe you did this on today of all days. Around that toolbox. Hard either, right? Well, it's not going to happen. Another tactic. It could. No, it couldn't. Why? Because I'll fight for you. Because I love you. Because you're my baby. There's huh? Blaine. There's Hannon. There's funny. sweet little Lenny. We'll get you an attorney. It's called a guardian ad litem. Boom, 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 boom. Doom, doom, doom. Dan Guard. Reporting for duty. I guess you probably know now that. Well, I'll deal with you later. Honestly, wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <For me? Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing this? Yeah, you. Why are you encouraging this? Because I will always help my son. Always help your son do he's what? He's expressed to me that he does not want to live with you anymore, and he does not want to go back to your house. And I'm simply, I'm, I'm not just going to abandon That him. sounds great. Let's do that on a random Sunday afternoon. They always what? come back on random Sunday afternoons. Let's not call and say, hey, we've got an issue. Let's not say, okay, you need to go home, but we'll meet up and we'll talk about this. Where Let's not we? do this in a mature adult manner. Let's just spring this on somebody. 
Did they say they were on their way? Sharks when you get out smarter, huh? It takes forever. No, no it doesn't. Yeah. That was a dumb thing to say, and he realizes it now. You got my orders. Yeah. Got my orders. What did the court order say? That you have to be home on the fourth Sunday at 2 o'clock p.m. He's, Caleb's probably, if we go to uh, court, Caleb's probably going to get in trouble for this. But I guess. Your dad's probably going to get in trouble for this. Wound well, up doing 60 days in jail. Judge Rex tossed me there. I would much rather solve all issues outside of the court. Oh, well. I've made that very clear. We've, 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 we've tried working with you. If you have issues Shut up, that you dude, want to no solve, to you. then you need to contact us. Not at 1130 at night in a text message when you're, you're drunk. drunk. You don't know, baby. He had two beers. Baby, this is... I shouldn't even be talking about it over you. You just I keep bringing it. up things you shouldn't be talking about. Hmm. It's very hard not to, though. And you're just old enough, you're just old enough to understand just a, the tedious iceberg of this whole mountain of mess. Divorce is hard. Nobody said it's not. But... <sighs> there's just things that... You just can't involve your kids in. It's just the way it is. I'm involved anyway. Honey, yeah, you're involved in a lot of ways, but you're not involved. Remember when with I said all, all the Shut up. Little no one's talking to you. That, that have happened. Because you don't need to know that. Why? You don't need to. Because the ins and outs of what happened between me and your father and the ins and outs of what happened between me and your father and Samantha. Oh, pause. For the record, uh, I'll get a lot of people. Uh, oh, Samantha. Who is Samantha? He, that must have been his side piece. I don't know how many times I've read that. I don't even remember that word being a word until like lately. Samantha was my second ex-wife. Samantha and I married about a month after these two lovebirds married and after getting sued, both me and her and both of her parents and accused of sexual misconduct of my own then two-year-old daughter, London, it wasn't too much longer and Samantha left. And looking back, you know, it hurt like hell at the time, but I don't blame her. I don't blame her for leaving. Uh, she saw the writing on the wall. This is never going to end, or at least for not for many, many years. And it just wasn't worth it. And I don't blame her a bit. But no, I wasn't running around with some other woman named Samantha. I married another woman named Samantha. And she we got divorced short, about a year before this. Information. And we're not my fault. Huh? Do what? What? Stop. No. You're my baby. And no, I'm gonna get touch off. You. I'm just touching you. Yeah, I know. Get off. Why? What happened? Because I'm tired of fighting with you. I'm not fighting yes, with you. Yes, we're always fighting. Every freaking day after school, we're always fighting. No. No. Him too. You're I'm not, tired you're of fighting. You're not going to yell at me. You always yell at me. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Oh, yeah. No, I don't. Never. Go ask the little kids. We have Never. talked about this. We talked about no, this. No, we haven't. This gaslighting. We talked about He's always walking you off. Here we go. We talked about it before you left. No, we didn't. And everything was fine. And you you said to not call for extra time on Monday because it was Memorial Day. Yes, like. No, that's not why. Yes. I said because we have plans. Okay, well, still, either way, you wouldn't have let us come over because it's a holiday. What are you talking about? Come over where? Stay. That's what stay. I No, I don't want you to stay with him. We have a set. We, this is how Kevin and I have a set up. There are orders. And whenever there's a funeral in his family or whatever, or there's something going on, we try to work together. She did let us go when my mother's father died and lived in San Angelo about two and a half hours away. But we were not allowed to go to the after party or the after gathering or whatever you call it, the wake, some people call it. We weren't allowed to go to the after where everybody gathers around and tells funny stories and eats. And uh, we weren't allowed to do that. I uh, asked and no. The answer was no. Imagine that. The answer was no. We had to drive all the way back and miss that part of our family. But she knew she had to give in a little. It, you know, that'd look really bad not to go to the funeral. But 
her up. That was it. She didn't have to do anymore. So we missed out on that. Together for big things, kid things. But if he wants extra time, he needs to go back and he needs to ask the court and sign up for extra time. That's the way to do I'm asking for time right now. Parker is asking for time right now. No. I want you to go pay more money to lawyers and ask somebody in a robe who doesn't really know us to make the decision for us. This is what you risk when you get involved with family court. Do things. That's well, let's right go to court. To well, that's not your decision. That's not your decision. So it's my... Yes, it sucks. Well, and it busted. shouldn't. It shouldn't be this freaking hard. Nope, it shouldn't. Then why are y'all making it? I'm not making it. I'm right. not. Then what I'm not. Doing? No. Standing You're not feeling that way. No, I'm not. It's constant gas. So you want me here, but we fight all the time, and you're always. If you think that we fight all the time, then we have some work to do. Yes, we do. We obviously do. We're no, laughing we're all the time. Oh, we're just laughing all the time. Everything's happy about. until you guys come. Everything is. No, happy. it's and not. Then I hear about how bad He's it calling me out. Here. Bullshit. And so I, you know, I'm not a detective, but I can probably put two and two together. That there's quite a lot of time. Can you call that non emergency number? Yes, what would you do please. if mom and Caleb were Shut up. married and you were still fighting? Shut up. Yeah. Where would you go? Dude, for you nowhere. I'd be stuck. You. And it would suck even worse. You realize that this decision separates you from your, your brothers and your sister. Yes. Derp, derp, derp. Okay. That's, that's, that's pretty a interesting. pretty harsh decision. Yes. And I know, and it shouldn't have to be that harsh. Well, Thank you for good. pointing out the obvious. <laughs> I'm not trying to be you rude. You don't need to be disrespectful. Yes, you, are, you, are. you are being rude. You are trying <laughs> to be rude. Good job, buddy. Hell yeah. To be. Okay. I can and say that now. I don't care who it pisses off. Get it and we forgive you for it. You need to get your bottom out of the I'm truck. I'm not getting out of the truck. Well, you are. I'm talking to you right now. Number three. Need help getting my kid. Need help getting your kid. Repeat. Oh, I said it. <laughs> not going to get in too much trouble. At least I repeated that one. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Hello. 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 Hi, hi. My ex-husband will not release my child to me, and he's encouraging him to stay in the truck. Could you please get somebody else? <laughs> Free to go. To he's encouraging him to stay in the truck. Do it too, and they're just sitting in the truck, and he's fil. He's filming me. Oh no. Okay. Okay, well, I just, I don't want things to escalate, and um, I've got my four other children um, across the street at a neighbor's house, and just need a little bit of help. Is there, huh? They're all on the muscle with the guns. A, uh, is, is there something that I can, is there something that I can do once the officer gets here? Is, are there charges? Charges I can press? Or... Got to put that on my speed dial. Right. Yeah, right, right, uh -huh. right, right. Uh -huh. I'm being really reasonable and understanding yeah. me when it's somebody else. Okay. Okay, see, I'm just okay. real easy okay. going. And, you know, so we'll yeah, go that's great. We'll Get go along that way, very then. easy. All right. Well, thank you so much. I'm so polite. All right, bye-bye. All right, swap faces now. Put the other, put the other, pull out the other personality. Here it comes. said that they've got a couple of units that are working towards getting down to us but you know it takes a minute Boys and girls, please do not ever grow up to be a simp. Grow up to be men. Boys, boys grow up to be men. Do 
Did y'all have a good weekend? Yes, sir. What y'all do? Went rabbit hunting. Went Ew, there. gross. Is that what's on your pants? Yeah. Went, and went over to Hill Pills, ate lunch. Just that sort of thing. Just regular stuff. Caught four baby rabbits. What do you do with them whenever you catch them? made a little home for him. Uncle Eric's gonna come by. Oh, I thought you meant shoot him. I thought you said you went rabbit hunting. He did. Yeah, we did. 14 year old logic. Shoot the big ones, take care of the babies. Found this little hole of baby rabbits. Hang on just a second, baby. Hey, I need a little help. All right. Caleb. Here um, goes. I'm Here sorry. goes. Uh, I've got the kids across the street at Marissa's, but. Turn them on. Turn them on. She's got something to do. Can you come out? Can you? Oh. Dry as a popcorn fart. Okay. Okay. All right. Thanks. Who's that? Kevin Christie. Kevin Christie. You're going to see a cameo from Kevin, Dr. Kevin Porter, here in a minute. Or still a maxual facial surgeon there in Odessa, Texas. What kind of place did you make? Uh, Grant's cat kennel. We just just dry as can be. Filled it full of hay so they can burrow and stuff, and put a bowl of water in there and a bowl of warm milk. And the cat played in the sandbox. She just slept in there. This is Amber Heard stuff here, man. Even know that they drank milk. Dang, she even does the face wipe. I really wish you would get out of the car. Then we could deal with this. Look at me. Will you please get out of the car and come home and let's talk? Please don't make a police officer enforce this order. Please do it. Enforce what order? The court order that's the visitation. Please just do it. What's he gonna do to me? I don't know. This has never happened before. Exactly. Probably nothing. Probably gonna say, hey, it's not it's not his turn anymore. You need to get out of the car and go to your mom's. It's not like he's gonna do anything bad to you. You're a child. <laughs> no, that's Trayvon Martin. is hard and there's a lot of emotions going I mean your brain your hormones are you're taking a testosterone bath right now I mean it's just hard it's hard no matter where you are it's just hard it's hard to grow up I know why would you leave a family that loves you for a guy that lives in a shop that sees you 48 days out of the year. Because we don't fight. 48 days out of the year. That's every other weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Originally, as re I said earlier, it was first, third, and fifth weekends. Uh, five months out of the year has a fifth weekend. So I'd get them on the Fridays of those weeks plus the third every single thursday so there's five thursdays there so you do the math that's what it was i didn't just voluntarily give it up i could fell behind on their money they want that money 
They wanted their money. And I didn't have it. The only thing I could give up that she knew that I wanted was time. And you'll see that here in a minute. He signed up for that. That, he, that, was, that was mediated. Because you don't know him, baby. And you don't know what's going to happen. He doesn't know him. You've never given it a chance. Ever. You're right. You've never, know. ever you given me a chance. You yell at me. You've only let us go there two, two week periods out of the summer. It's not that I let you. It was agreed. He chose his visitation. That wasn't court ordered. That was me. Shut up, he chose it. Shut up, Dukas. That is not a me Doofy. thing. That's a Caleb thing. There's nothing to do. I want to go see a judge because right now I don't trust anybody. But you don't understand. What? Then tell me what I'm not understanding. I can understand that you want to go talk to somebody. And if you need help understanding the orders, I will gladly pay for that. But what you don't understand is you can't tell him that he has to change his orders. That is some manipulative crap right there. You can't tell him he has to change. We're asking for more time right now. Right now. You can't do that. I'm not telling anyone wanted, anything. If he wanted, if he if he wanted, if he wanted, if he wanted you to live with him, he would have filed. He would have gone to court. He would have taken us to court. Y'all did go to court. It's too expensive, Candace. Yeah, I can't afford. It. That's just the way it is. I'm sorry. We can we can mutually well, work this out. Well, if you would quit we can donating work this out. all your money to your crazy marijuana causes or whatever you do now? <laughs> how do you know how many states now have not only recreational marijuana want to legalize but also uh, uh medicinal medicinal is like 30 something states recreational is up to like i don't know 12 15 back then there's like almost none colorado maybe california and for the record i was not high there i was not drunk i don't even like marijuana I've tried it several times, a couple handfuls of times in my entire life. I just don't like it. However, I don't think anybody should be put in a jail cell for simply holding one of God's plants. Because according to Genesis 129, God made all seed bearing plants and he said that they were all good. Just going by what the Bible says. What I donate to. We live in Odessa. I mean, I'm sure you know what I had for supper last night. <laughs> well, it's nice to say that I'm a hot topic. No, you're not a hot topic. It's just that you're weird. Of course I am. But Still I'm weird. also willing to work with y'all or you. No, well, we're anyway. willing to work with you, too. That's My just... child needs to get out of the car and we'll work with let's, you. Let's, let's go to the judge. Okay, you need to move that. Horribly misspoke. I'm your mother no. and you're being ugly to me. You know you're being ugly to me. I'm done. So am I. Good. Okay. You need to get your bottom in the house. No. Yes. Somebody to explain what all went on. Shut up, Doofus. No one's talking to you. you want to talk to, to do that. And everybody can be present. We'll go to a judge. You asking me what all went on. Shut up, Doofus. It's hard to understand. Hard to no one's asking you, Doofus. It's none of your business, Doofus. This all works. Okay, so y'all don't fully understand. Let's go to a judge. No, I do understand. It's just a difficult subject matter. Okay, well, we have time. We don't have. Well, you can't go to a judge right now on a Sunday afternoon, Bubba. You can't just say, hey. It's just like this. This is a very not okay way of doing things. You can't just say, hey, court, open up. I got a question. It's, okay, well, like, let's talk to the cop. I'll wait till they get here. The cop doesn't the cop know anything, doesn't about, know the anything about it. Okay, well, then they shouldn't be over here trying to get me out of this freaking truck. If they don't know one thing that's happening. They're not going to the yell. Say. Okay, then you, like you, just went, you just went back on your words. No, no. It's just it's the law. He can no enforce it, but he wasn't no one's there. talking to to interpret every little thing. There okay, then he shouldn't be enforcing anything. Well, I don't know what to do. And tell don't you. say that's just the way it is. Well, it kind of is. I know that you didn't want to hear that. <laughs> it's kind of the way it is. George, the judge writes it down. Oh, this book is. This book is law. And this book is law. He signed it and I signed it. And we can mutually agree to mix it up anytime we want to. You're right. We had can. I and thought. Had I, and had you. Had you proven to me? Proven to be more. Uh huh. They need their swimsuits and stuff. That's an impossibility. How many people have y'all driven to this? Huh? How many people have y'all called? Just well, I've got four weakness. kids besides you that I need to make sure that they're safe so I can devote all my attention on you and your temper tantrum that you're having. 
You yeah. don't need to film my children. <laughs> There's Kevin you Porter. Doctor Kevin Porter. Skinny dude right there. It's a public street and I'm in my own vehicle and I have every right to film whatever I want to. You're so Boom. You're right. Know your rights, people. Learn your rights. You know it is rights. that important. That's good. That's a good thing. I know mine too. Come on, let's go. You don't even know. Like this is the biggest day of your life and you don't even know what you're doing. Here it comes. What's the biggest day of my life? Oh my gosh, Parker. <laughs> what? Cue the tears. You ready? Here you go. Here they go. Here they go. We were going to pull your Trans Am around in just a minute. Your car's here. Okay. Yay. Film it. We're so excited to show you and film it. <laughs> watch, watch, watch. Don't go. They're in a cul-de-sac, by the way. Go get your swimsuits, okay, guys? Go get your swimming suits. There's London. Don't even worry about a towel. Just go get your trunk. There's Hanan. Compression shorts. There's Bucky. Boing. Go on, Bucky. There's Superman. Will you please get out of the car now? No. Can we just talk about this like normal human beings? This is not well, because how we won't talk or we'll yell. Will. Don't yell. The only person that's been yelling is you. Because you're just not like, getting it. Neither is he. I don't this is want what to be I, here. I already talked to you about. You say we yell all the time. It's you. No, because calm it, down. We can't do anything. We can't work out anything if you're hollering. I can't, I can't ever work out anything anyways. Because he either walks off or you and me are yelling. No, we're not yelling. Yes, y'all are. Well, give it another chance. No. Don't yell at me. I won't give you another chance if you won't give me another chance. I'm giving you another chance right now. No, not to get out of the car, to try this. You can't try that. That's not, I don't feel like that's an appropriate place for you, Parker Kelly. Well, I don't feel like this is an appropriate place for well, me. Well, gummit, whenever you're 18, you get to pick lots yeah, of things. But right when now, I'm 14, or if I'm 12, I can pick no, things. No, you can't. Yes, There's I can because it says it in name. the law. It doesn't There's say Dr. Enough. Kevin Porter. Well, it's not there. Have you even read all the orders? Yeah, I have, babe. Really? Yeah. So you know everything it says, but it's still confusing. Um, I think the circumstances are confusing. Yeah, you're telling me. I don't think that the orders are confusing. They're pretty cut and dry. I used to literally go pray with that guy in his doctor office. True story. We went to Crescent Park Baptist Church, like a 99. Why do you not want people to know? Are you embarrassed? Do you feel are about you embarrassed? What? Well, I mean, you're like, how many people are you going to involve in this? Well, I don't care who all comes. I, Go I, knock on every door. I don't want to. I don't need to. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Calm down. Calm no. Down. <laughs> look at that look. The defeat. This is not going to end the way you want it, baby. Yes, it is. You're making your life harder. And you're making your future harder. Why? Because if you think you this is the... Are you going to be ugly to me every day it, because I don't let you go live with him? No. Because that's not But if you are. think that I'm going to let my kids see you, if I have kids, mm -hmm. or if you think this is the right way to have a long-term relationship with me, you're sadly mistaken. Okay. Well, I will take my chances on doing what I think is right for you. Raising you in an environment that I think is appropriate for you. And if one day you find out that you don't want to see me anymore, well, by golly, that is your choice. Okay. But I'm going to do my Wait, best. And Haney, my and very best. Because I feel like. With yeah, Superman. And Superman part do. I'm not just going to. Well, all right, that one got too hard, and he wanted to go live with the ex, so. 
One down, four to go. That's not what this is. Yeah, heaven forbid a 14-year-old boy would live at this bar. That's not real life. That's not real family. Do not get involved with these kind of people, young people. I'm telling you. We're finally here. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Can I have my orders, please? Where are my orders? Give my orders. Do you have my papers? Do you have my papers? Chop, chop. Now. Well, the kids are supposed to come home at two, and the rest of them came in. I have four children with my ex-husband. The three little, the, right in here. Um, he's filming us, by the way. You are being, you're being filmed. Um, See how easy that was. You just talk to him. Yeah, I'm telling him. A respectful sure officer won't have a problem in the world with it. Orders. We had a very strange mediated agreement. This man does not see these children on a regular basis. And yeah, only sudden, second and fourth Fridays my never missed it. They leave. When they come home, I have a child that does not want to get out of this car. And my ex husband is saying, oh, he's free to go whenever he wants to, but I'm not going to make him get out. Well, they're filming me. They're being not confrontational, but you know, it's that whole, I'm not touching you, I'm not touching you. Just. This child needs to come home. He's 14 years old. Can I get an ID? Uh, yes, sir. You too. Do you have your ID? It's in there. Can you get it for me? Just to make sure they don't win. He's, he's standing. Oh. See that horse crap right there? As if I'm going to wait all this time on my own recognizance and then two cops show up with cars parked in front of me as if I'm just going to drive off. He's like, uh, chill, lady. He's, he's not. Yeah, I'm here. No, he's not going anywhere. <laughs> it's just it's a total act. It's a total amber turd. Do you have it in park? Sir? Yeah, park? Yes, sir. Okay. It's in park. That's fine. Normally, I wouldn't. You don't. Ha I did not commit a crime. I wouldn't suspect committing a crime. You don't have to give your ID. I just made a judgment call to, because of the sensitivity of the nature of the situation. Know your rights, people. Learn what um, your rights are. Leverett? Caleb Leverett, yes, sir. You are not suspected of committing a crime. You do not have to show ID. And if they do suspect you to ask or of committing a crime, ask them what crime am I suspected of committing? Wailing. <laughs> that crap used to work. That crying woman stuff. It used to work. And then it got abused. And then when a woman in a real bad situation does it. Unfortunately, too many people don't believe her. That's what that's what this kind of crap breeds. So you don't have a standing order? Yeah, we do. It's not a standard order. It's not standard. We have a standing order. The papers clearly say we can possession throughout the year, which is where we are. Uh, second Friday of each month from six to Friday. Second Friday of each month from 6 p.m. on Friday, 6 p.m. To, to 6 p.m. on Sunday. And on the fourth Friday, which is the, we're on the fourth Friday to visit, uh, 6 p.m. on Friday to 2 p.m. on Sunday. He doesn't have Thursday. He only has, like, a week. Today is Sunday. I know. He won't. He will not say it. Oh, he said, well, he doesn't want to get it. Now I'm a terrorist. <laughs> Terrorizing my family. Right here, I'm taking off my GoPro. Yes, sir. You can video take it. That's fine. Mine, mine's going too. Okay. Yeah, yeah, cool. What's going on? Totally cool. Um, I'm dropping him off at 2 o'clock, which was uh, 55 minutes ago. Okay. And uh, he, my son has expressed to me that he does not want to go back over there. And I'm, I did go by the orders. I returned all four children here. And he is refusing to get out of the car, and uh, he's free to go. I'm certainly not saying he can't go, but he's also, I'm not going to leave my kid. I'm not going to force him to do anything he doesn't want to do. Okay. 
But in your, she does have legal custody of them right now. Yeah. Yes. Yes. They have been within her custody the last fifty-five minutes. Absolutely. Okay. I just want. I mean, I just want to make sure we're all. Mm. Understand yeah. I, I, I'm. I'm. I've got my same. I got the same copy of the same okay. court order. That's I mean, we're we're on the same sure page. This is just one of those real sticky situations where he doesn't want to go back, and I'm not going to kick my son out. And uh, the the camera is simply for just keeping everybody um, honest and make sure everything is uh, going by the book. Yeah, that's fine. That's like I said, mine's going to. We're okay. Everything. And what is your name? B. I'm Officer Brandon Spinks. Spinks. Okay. Yes, sir. S -B -I -N -K -S. Okay. Badge number one four seven. Okay. Thank you. What's going on, man? I don't want to get Any reason why? Bro, always fighting, and I just don't want to go over there. But Please don't always, force me to go over there. We're not always fighting. Yes, Bubba. we are, Mom. I'm not going over there. Not. We're not. No, it that never happened. It is hard to be 14, but it is harder to do things like this. This is not even who you are. It, yes. No, Please don't force me to go. This is all. Please. Everything powder is dry. Fine, and then, powder dry cheeks. You cannot tell me that you have not encouraged this. This is ridiculous. I thought this over through like two or three years, Mom. Oh my gosh, you're a child. You're not equipped to make these decisions. Don't yes, play. I am. Don't if I'm 12 not. or older, I'm equipped to make Maybe this decision. Maybe if I thought he was an appropriate influence, if we co-parented together on a regular basis, if we were talking and things were all about you, then by golly, if I really believed that it was what you needed and wanted, I would let it happen. But I do not think you're safe over there, and I will not just let you drive and I, off in this oh, car. And I don't think I'm safe over here. Well, why? Because you've hit me before. I will hit you again. I will spank you again. No, you I don't you, you don't spank. I'll you hit, hit me you in the face. Hit. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Face. And you choked me. You have, have grabbed my throat before and pushed me up against the wall one time because I did my boots and you would not let me bring them over. I, I remember it because we were in the hallway by my room. I don't choke you, Barker. No, you, you did not choke me, but you had your hands around my neck and you and him were cornering me and I will not go back over here. Please, for the love of God, you. let me leave. No. Please don't no, force me to go, ridiculous. sir. Please, for the love of God. Some people wonder why I left. <laughs> oh, I can hear myself to think. Deep breaths, buddy. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. People giving me shit for encouraging my son. I've got no plenty of that. Ready, ready for my orders, man. Stupid mechanic lives in some shop. That's what some people call coaching. Being a parent, being responsible. Yeah, so bad of me to tell my son to be honest. to consider letting me go. Watch how it changed. Everything changed. I have legal custody of you, Parker, and I'm unlocking this car. No, you're my no, child. I'm not getting out. No. Okay. I'm going to explain it to you also. Okay. I'm, I'm getting you out of the car. Can we ask for the door to be unlocked? You can unlock it. Do what? This is a, this is a parent adult. This is a parent child situation. Get out of the car, Parker. No. This is a civil issue. Okay. Like you're, you're saying you're following. Uh, code 10, crank it up to no, need more tears. No, really the wrong way get, get her arm out. No, I'm not getting my arm out. You're my kid. Stop. You're stop. my kid. Stop. No, I'm not going to stop. 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 Get him out of the car. Stop. I can't. I can't. Stop. Ow. Neither, neither am I. 
<laughs> if I have to use force to get you out. Okay. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Come home. No. Warp speed tears. Now we need more warp speed tears. Crank, crank them up. Crank them up. Okay, thanks. And I'm allowed to do whatever to get this baby out of the car. Can my husband help me? They got that. Please oh, don't. Oh, yeah. No, get. Okay, stop. Look at that. Like, they're just determined. Oh, we can do everything up to killing. That we can do. We beat him up, break some arm, anything. No, stop. No. Get out. Notice she didn't flinch when he when he barked like that. Didn't even flinch. Not once. She flinches when Officer Spinks barks, and then she realizes it's her. Get out. You just said I could break every fucking gun in his body. I just couldn't kill him. Hang on, Park. Hang on. He didn't say you have to get out. You ain't got to step out. This one on the way. Yes, sir. Bill, yes, sir. Okay. Bill, be in respect. This is your mom, dude. Yes, sir. And I understand you don't want to go. Yes, sir. Okay. But you just have the right to get you out of the car. Okay. Now, I know you want to go with your dad. And I understand that. Don't get me wrong. I, I do. Okay. I'm saying, as a, you're still a child, man. You're 14. She does have the right to get you out of the car. Right. Okay, but the whole fight and the arguing and bickering and trying to roll her arm up in the window. I mean, if this is going to turn into a disturbance, we need to handle this a different way. Can okay. we agree? Yes. Okay. <laughs> this, I mean, this is going from civil to disturbance. Yes, sir. <laughs> Who initiated the force? She, Boom. She was trying to get the child out of the car, which is initiating her parental right. It wasn't technically force. It's not force? No, she was, she was initiating her parental rights. Okay. Is that is that is that is that per law? Yes. Okay. Do you know which law that is by chance? Mm, right off the top of my head, no. But I, I okay, I'm okay, going to have to go okay. look it up. Okay. I mean, I, and I understand, but like I said, the whole trying to this disturbance turning into disturbance. I'm sorry. Okay, that's where, that's where, that's where I have that's where I get involved. And I I, I wasn't I'm trying to roll her arm out. I was trying to get her arm out. I understand. I, I I was sitting here. I witnessed everything. I saw what happened. Okay. So I was in the wrong? I didn't say either one of you were in the wrong. I just said this is turning into a disturbance and that's what we're not about to do. Okay. Okay? I need you to just get out of the car So then. if we can talk about this in a civil way, like adults. <laughs> now he's an adult. You need to do it that way. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. You good with that? Yes, sir. All right. I'll let y'all continue this little... Bullshit. Continue about. this little he's bullshit. He's adamant that he's not getting out and I'm adamant that I'm not sending him away with my ex-husband. There's Jeez, nothing sir. to talk about. Jeez. We can talk about what's going on with why you feel this way in the house, but I am not sending you somewhere where I don't, I don't have a good feeling about it, even on your regular visits. Okay, well, I want him to go in then. He can't come in and mediate this. That's not his you job, babe. Way, you can't take back and forth and that way. I'm trying to get to do it without... He doesn't a, believe a, a, a in courts fight. or cops. I'm trying to do it in a... <laughs> He's a total anarchist. Why don't you go ahead and tell him what you think about police officers? Uh, that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. <laughs> you don't have it respect it, for anybody, even your own child. Completely irrelevant. You don't have uh, even respect for even your own child to encourage him to handle a situation just impulsively like this. This he's is ridiculous. He's been pretty calm until he's been pressured from what I'm witnessing. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm from your point of view and the way you'll edit that, I'm sure. Will you, will you mind no uh, emailing me a copy I'm completely? Copy. Here's your copy. Will you please email me a copy of I'm that so I have record that. of it also? I'm not going to answer that. Mm. The officer already said it's going to be a disturbance and I'm not going to stop until you're home. I'm not going to stop until I'm going to So you want me to be arrested for creating a disturbance? Or if that's what it takes, Mom, you're scaring me. I'm not scaring you. I'm gaslighting you. I'm not scaring you. That's not scary. I know what's scary to you. You're trying to unlock the door and get him to open the door? He's a parent. The cop just said he's also a parent that has custody. Okay, well, I'm not going. Oh, he doesn't. And we'll just have it filed with the paperwork. He's doofus. He has no business here whatsoever. I, I just, I don't have the ten thousand dollars to put down. I, I just don't. I'm just saying that's a route you can go in. Oh, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing looking into it some more. But like I said, without hopefully without involving all the lawyers, at least too many lawyers. 
how do I go about this? And it's not a disturbance to where I don't upset you or upset him. You I mean, let him go. You let him go with his dad. And he won't. That's how he's right there. I can touch him and he won't unlock the door. He's having a temper tantrum. <laughs> I know. What do I do? Projection, Obviously. projection, projection. I can't. I can't. Because then he starts screaming and then you say no because that it's a disturbance. I don't know what to do. I'm a super. I don't know what to do. All right. Here comes the man of the hour. <laughs> Officer Rocha. <laughs> Boom! Y'all hear that ice cream truck? This thing was li up for like seven, five or six, seven years. Before. I never heard that ice cream truck until I saw people talking about it in the comment section. Now that I got these on, yes, it is. Now that I got headphones on, I can actually hear it. I'm floored. You're what? I'm floored. Yeah, I'm sure you are. I'm sure. <laughs> You came to bring the, the kid back, right? Yes. For my children. Okay. You don't want to get off? No, sir. I'm scared to go in. You're okay. scared you to go stay, in. You want to stay with your dad? Yes, sir. And you're willing to take him? Why oh, are absolutely. you scared to go in? Okay. No, I have legal custody. It doesn't matter. We can't do nothing about that, man. See how easy that was. Going, Why are you especially scared? after right now. Rookie Dude, cop. Nothing's going to happen to you, baby. Laying the groundwork and how all hug. peace no, officers are behaving. We can't do nothing about it. De-escalating the situation. Oh, see, see, we aside from killing him, we do anything we want. We break his fucking arm. Rocha badge number one twenty. Okay. Okay. Um, for this instant, uh, she's gonna probably want to do something about it and go to court and all that. I would advise you that you. I mean, because you're doing a good thing recording all that so you can show up wherever you need police to Police officer. Show. A peace officer um, told me I was doing I a good thing about. by recording. Well, I don't know what he's scared about. That might have been something that happened. Just make sure that... That yeah. is how it's done. I'm very... Ever, I'm openly very critical of police. If you've watched... If you got your head out of the sand and watched any YouTube videos at all, you would know why. But these two rookie cops raised the bar. And they set the example of how a peace officer should act. Show up, assess the situation, de-escalate the situation, walk away. Beautiful, beautiful. Well done, officers Spinks and Rocha, Odessa Police Department. If you would like to mail them thank you letters, I don't know if they're still there or not, but you can mail the Odessa Police Department and reference the Parker movie and you know thank them for you know, being stand-up officers, it's in the description of the original. Hell, I might add it here, but it is in the original description of the original movie. Take it. Okay. Y'all can discuss this in a civil way, but his father can take it. Y'all can take him back to court and determine because that's a civil issue. That is y'all civil. That is y'all going to court. That is y'all's child custody. Okay. That is not a criminal issue. He doesn't want to stay here. We can't make him stay here. If he's willing to take the kid, well, if he's willing to take your son, I live. It's considered a mess. He can, he can just steal my boy. Yeah, yeah. That's the difference. What's the point? Have an order that we can do whatever he wants to do. Does refuse to get out. Which who would be good at jurisdiction? Midland County Sheriff or y'all? Watch out. Six weeks later, he gets the kid. He said he had a child situation, but he can't. Because honestly, I'm pretty much going to send the sheriff out there. I can only go as far as my uh, Midland County Sheriff. What am I allowed to do to get my child? You know where, uh, I do have to pat myself on the back here. I'm like literally doing this, holding the camera up one way, talking to Officer Rocha this way. Uh, that's, that was pretty, pretty badass camera work, but I do say so myself. And to all of you, thank me for filming horizontally instead of vertically. You're welcome. And by the way, I used an iPhone 4. No, iPhone did not pay me to say that. That's simply what I use. Okay. I want to recommend considered assault. What do we do? I mean, to press charges against him. I'm prepared to do that right now. And I appreciate y'all. Press charges against your own son. Hard as the young career off with a criminal record anything to anything to get him away on a 14 year old child he's like um, disgusted yeah, officer speaks is like disgusted by this i've never obviously never been inside the home it's all you can't leave him in there nope no loopholes got outsmarted can can i talk to you 
trying she to. She just called me your baby, but she's threatening to sue me. I'm not trying she, to sue you. You just said you're gonna press charges. I'm doing anything I can to get you away from Mark. him, babe. I'm your, I'm your baby, but you were gonna press charges on me yeah. because you put your arm in the window anything, and I tried to peacefully get it out. You need to see how she does that overpowering. Anything, Caleb right anything. Now, anything. Babe. The shut the you up. I don't. I don't. Thank, thank you. Boom. He's done. Roll it up. Uh, last name. Leverett. L E V E R E T T. Oh, you got his information. Yeah, he's got. He got. He's got my ID. That's why I was. I've already ran up. All right, you're free to go. Uh, well, can can I can you, are you can you make a, a report of this or could I have a copy of this and she I don't know how that works if she called but we're involved. I mean, y'all are telling me I'm free to go, but uh, yeah, I, I'm not. You, I mean, you, you, have, have, it on, you have it on your recording that says you're, you're free to go. I think that was my Ron Paul bracelet. Saying you kidnapped her kid. You, We're not gonna do nothing about it. You can show. I'm Ron Paul. Up, you can show the end of this video. Where do y'all have a business card by chance? No, sir. I I do not. But like you said, I'm Officer Brandon Spinks, so that's the police department badge number 147. Okay. Okay. Um. I. I mean, I'm 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 more than willing more than willing to take him to school, but. uh Ask her if you can, we're free to go. Ask her if you can get your school stuff. I mean, you're, you're off tomorrow, right? Memorial Day. Can you make sure they don't know? Watch this. Right here. I don't want them getting there. I don't get me. We can. Okay, I'm, by policy, we can. By policy, I, I can't. We They're can. in a disagreement. No. They changed it. It's, it's. He's what? getting corrected. By what? For to go in there? It's not a disturbance. It's, it's, it's civil. Just, Having know, a discussion it's about it? So we can stand by while you gather some stuff. Please. Can you y'all can stand by? We can stand by. Together. I mean, he's he's oh. telling you he's afraid. It has to be fast, That's all it was. It'll, it'll, it'll take me five minutes. A lot of police officers get really, really butt hurt when another cop, or especially a civilian, one of we peon, us peons, but when another cop corrects them, they get really butt hurt because they've got this pride thing that nobody knows the law better than them. And uh, this is an outstanding example where I firmly believe that uh, Officer Spinks, he, he believed what he was taught was that they can't stand by. His partner, uh, Officer Rocha, simply corrected him. Maybe he went to a new class or something, or, you know, updated, you know, continuing, continue, whatever that's called. Uh, and he said, oh, OK, so they did correct it. That was it. There wasn't any of this pride bullshit and no, they didn't, you know, start whacking each other and you know, start cussing each other, or get, you know, taking out on us. Oh, okay. So it got corrected. All right, cool. Okay. My bad. That's all it was. It's okay to make a mistake. Officer Brandon speaks. It made a simple mistake. It's just a simple mistake. No big deal. And he took it like a man. So again, Officer Spinks and Rocha, man, men of the hour. And it stops. Don't, don't even make it five minutes, dude. Make it one minute. One minute. Let's see how long it goes. One minute. My nosy ass rolled the one. <laughs> oh, snap, snap. I got him. I'm bark, 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 bark. Watch this doofus gets locked out. Go get your orders. Get your marching orders there, Bubba. Yeah, he looked me in the eye, punk. He locked his ass out. It's <laughs> 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 oh, so funny. Now I'm just sitting here being a simp, doing what I'm told. Both been totally, completely replaced and put in her purse. Pop, pop. That's all she got to do. And I say, yes, ma'am. I'll go fetch her orders. They killed motherfucker. Look at that young man. Look at them legs. Through that cowboy. By the way, Parker is a professional horse trainer now, just so y'all know. That's about it. all the information I'm getting out. I tried to make me stay. Yes, I did. Look at him. Hey, uh, oh, yeah, he's like, shit, fuck this. Uh, rip, he's out. He's out, homies. <laughs> Got the 
camera on them, making sure I got proof that I was legally allowed to leave. According to them, I was allowed to leave. Okay, we're good to go. We're good to Thank go. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, uh, Good job, buddy. Victory! Wow. Stand your ground. Stand up for she your right. She tried rights. to slam the door to my own room and force me to stay there. I pushed her as, I would say, self-defense. I did not assault her. I'm not staying there anymore. Well, Parker Kelly, I'm thoroughly impressed. I'm, I'm proud of you, son. You stood your ground. Still proud of you. Congratulations. Thanks. I'm gonna pause this. I'm gonna call Hill Pill. Let her know. Let her know what's going on. Okay. To this very day, I'm still proud of that young man, my oldest son, Parker Kelly Leverett. He went through a lot of crap. Even after this, if you uh, would like to watch the follow-up, this two and a half months later, watch. Uh, Parker versus the man where you see Parker engage in civil disobedience after after the uh, dishonorable uh, Judge Den Whalen in there in Hector County, Texas, ordered him to go back and live with his mother. Uh, Parker and I had uh, just attended a police accountability summit in Austin and got to meet and watch a speech by the the legendary Mr. Bobby Seale, one of the founding uh, the founders of the original Black Panther Party back in the 60s. Uh, I've got a video I put up uh, last year in 2021. If you'd like to go see that, I give a little more information about that where you get. And that's where Parker learned what civil disobedience is. And uh, so, yeah, anyway, um, Nine years, nine years ago today, a lot's changed and a lot has gotten a lot better. And believe me, there's some really wonderful things happening in the lives of me and my children. And I haven't been this relaxed and this uh, excited in a very, very long time. Uh, it's been it's been some hell and i will say this though there if you if you go through this you're going to go through some rocky times really nasty times uh, i stayed drunk for about seven years i've got plenty of videos online if any of you are recovering struggling with alcohol uh, or i go into what it took for me to get sober i'm about um, 21 and a half months sober now not one single drop. Uh, Hayden and Blaine both live here with me in uh, Florida in this little tiny house. And I assure you have not had a single drop. They can attest to that because it'd be really hard to, it'd be impossible to hide it in such a small place. But uh, anyway, if you're struggling with alcohol, I encourage you to find somebody you can trust to talk to. But yeah, just remember there, even when you go through that, don't do anything rash. Find yourself because there are still wonderful, caring, humble, and kind people left in this world. I'm living proof because I know them. Y'all take care. Please don't hit your gear, your cheerings.